Hi guys, it is me, Got Mick. All right. <laughs> Hi guys, it is me, Got Mick from RuPaul's Drag Race season 13, and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm so excited because I have been getting requests for so long to make a channel, but you can ask all my friends. I'm just not meant to be a YouTuber in my opinion. I feel like I don't have the self-motivation to wake up every day and sit in my living room and record my makeup. Just never has worked, but I feel like if there's ever a time to do it, it is now. So I am going to sit down today and show you guys how I did my entrance look. So every week I really want to sit down and show you guys how I did my makeup on the main stage and along the way maybe spill a little tea. So I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be a really cute, dope little series and I can't wait to get into it. On the show you probably have heard that we have to get ready in the shortest amount of time you could ever get ready in your entire life. So I'm really excited to slow it down a little bit, kill it with the makeup and teach you guys how to do this. Okay, so we're starting out with my favorite beauty product, Alive. A little boy backstory. My name's Kate. Hello, Kate. I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona, originally, which is crazy. I went to Catholic school, just the whole Arizona white girl fantasy. <laughs> I moved to LA when I was 18 years old to go to fashion school. Thank God my makeup career took off because that was a spooky game plan. I started doing celebrity makeup and putting them into drag, basically. Luckily got introduced to amazing makeup clients like Heidi Klum and Paris Hilton. Tinashe, and just really cool people who would let me kind of do whatever I wanted. There are so many drag queens that have gotten on RuPaul's Drag Race in the past that have their stamped face. And I really wanted to have the exact same thing when I was trying to create and figure out who Gottmik was. For me, it was a very, very important thing that I had something that when someone saw a recreation of my makeup or something, you knew it was my makeup. Like there's no, no one else is, no, it was my makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna drown in Ben Nye powder. I feel gorgeous already. Ooh, that's a little prickly. <laughs> so now I'm going to start painting my face white. The Gottmik clown artistry of life. Crown sticks are so hard to blend out. That looks really bad. I'm blending it. Now I'm gonna take some powder. I'm gonna set this bitch. I just used the exact same beauty blender I just blended this out with because one, I'm lazy. And two, that actually might be the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to contour and I literally just use a gray eyeshadow and I basically just use this Aquaria NYX palette and then I contour. So now that we just contoured with powder because we set this half, going back in with this little angel and since this is all still wet, I just cut this contour into my mouth. So now that the base is on, for the most part, we're gonna start on the fun part, which is the eyes. And this look is squiggly and crazy. Rose called it a bumpy crease. I have a lot of eyelid space, but I love to just ignore the fact that God gave me a gorgeous amount of eyelid space and I like to black it all out and pretend I have hooded eyes because I feel like hooded eyes are cuter for drag makeup, but that's just me. Let me just draw this liner. I'm a makeup artist, so I'm always on set. And when I got the call to be on Drag Race, I think it was like a few months into the pandemic already. And I full was not working on any sets and there was full no makeup jobs to be had at the time. So I full was like, my agency is lying to me about jobs or Drag Race is crazy. I auditioned for Drag Race three times. So third time's the charm, apparently, for real, for real. Back when I auditioned the other two times, I was not the person I am today. So I am very thankful that they did not put me on before because I feel like there could not have been a better time than now for me to be on the show. This is messy at first, obviously, because it doesn't really matter about this part. There's the base, angels. So now we have to get into it with the artistry. I have this gorgeous water glass because these paints are water activated. So let's activate it with water. I've also done this look three times now, once for the show, once to shoot it, and now again. So I probably don't even need to look at a reference at this point. So I'm gonna go into it with the pink one first. When I saw this squiggly dress that Ray Ortiz made me for the entrance, I was kind of maybe thinking about how I've done weird eye shapes in the past. And I was like, let's just copy this dress, girl. We're not doing a normal crease today. Mm -mm. So I always start everything where my crease would be because I like to blend them together. And then I'm just gonna draw some bumpies. Whoops on out, bitch. Mm. I like this brush, so I'm just gonna wipe it off and reuse it for the other colors. Now we're gonna use green, which is my fave one. And I'm just going to do the same thing. So getting there was crazy enough. And then when we get there, World of Wonder and VH1, they are the, literally the 
most pandemic safe angels you'll ever meet in your life. So the whole time we are immediately getting temperature checked. We got COVID tested before we were even allowed to be there. But I think the like first day we even pull up, girl, we got COVID tested. We were like more COVID tested than Donald Trump herself. I think the first day was literally crazy, which is what we saw last Friday. I did this makeup and then it was time to walk in the workroom, girl. And let me tell you, I thought we were just gonna do a gorgeous photo shoot, something stunning, less stressful, less traumatic, but no. So I was the first one to walk in the workroom and I just didn't see that for me. Like that just wasn't in my fantasy about it. Like I didn't see myself walking into the workroom first ever, but I walked into the workroom first and I was like, what do I do? Like, where do I put my hands? What is going on? And so I was just walking around and like looking in the mirror and obviously my shoe fell off. Like why was I allowed to jump into a split on the main stage, but walking off the little mini stage, that didn't work. I don't know. Utica walked in the workroom. She was the craziest person I've ever met in my life. And I was living for her. I was glad because I felt like I was in a little pinup artistry look and with my clown white face. And then here comes a literal clown walking in the workroom out clowning me. That was crazy to me. And so we have two clowns going to the main stage to look sweet to Lindsay Lohan. So. Drag race. But yeah, when those lights went off, I was so confused. I've actually gotten a few questions on Instagram that people are like, your, your reaction looked so real. Did you truly not know what was going on? I'm like, no girl, this is literally a reality TV show. And then when RuPaul said to go to the main stage, I thought maybe they were all there and we're gonna meet them on the stage. Like I had no idea. But then when I was standing in the back of the stage and I hear RuPaul's voice saying, next up got Mick, I was like, no. That is not RuPaul saying my name right now. So then they tell us we have to lip sync for your life. And to be fair, before it started, RuPaul asked me if I was a lip sync assassin and I said, no bitch, I am not a lip sync assassin. I'm a mug. <laughs> I love to lip sync. I'm more of a spending a week on choreo with hot dancers behind me type T, as opposed to, hi, you walked into the drag race scene and in the first five minutes, please show me why you're staying in the competition via lip sync to Lindsay Lohan type tees, you know? I'm gonna go in with this yellow now and just trace over that black messy line we did earlier. So now we're going in black and this is the most stressful part of the whole thing. And I know a lot of people will get scared of black artistry makeup, but it's just makeup. We'll fix it if we fuck up. So basically now we're going to fix this disgusting black liner that we did and we are going to draw a black line in between these two to give it some more depth. Now I'm going to do my white and my waterline and my waterline, I mean basically down to my cheekbone because I like to pretend my eyes are huge. Okay, so now I'm just gonna line this with the orange. You know what also was so fun about the episode is like, I had no idea where those girls that lost the lip sync went. <laughs> I had no idea. So it's like seeing that, I was literally like shocked. I was like, not the pork chop loading dock. Watching myself back on TV for the first time was so crazy. I watched it on LA time which was a little bit later than East Coast. So all I had was like a billion people just tweeting me about the lip sync and stuff. So I was like, <sighs> like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. And I was getting like in my head about it. Overall, it just, watching that just made me so excited for the next episode. And I can't wait to see what happens. Like I just, on the edge of my feet. So now I'm gonna use my favorite artistry palette. Now I'm going to take like the hot pink in this palette. I think I love watching myself on TV, but I hate not knowing what I'm going to see of myself on TV. That's the tea. So I literally did all of this and I apparently looked in the mirror and I was like, well, that's not enough. So I need more. So I did these clown lines. So I'm gonna draw those now with black liner. Okay, so now I also have a center one. So I just draw these little, I just like line up my eye perfectly and I just draw a little, a little baby straight down triangle. Now I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna set this shit. I also didn't think this was enough, so I added a beauty mark. <laughs> Like, what was I going through that day? But yeah, apparently that is where I was like, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. We have to contour my nose. My favorite moment of that whole episode, which doesn't look like a fun moment, but girl, de-dragging is so fun in that workroom. I can't even tell you. I think it's probably partially because you're just so stressed out and like you literally worked a very long set day. And especially that day was very stressful. So probably that has something to do with it. But when we're getting out of drag and we can just talk about whatever we want and we're just all kiki and like helping each other get out of the geesh. Like everything seems like peak humor to me. All right, so now we are baking my nose so it looks very snatch. I don't know why you do that, but I see people do that, so works for me. I love this makeup, it's just so cute. I'm gonna highlight my cheeks, which I probably should have done before I do all this, but I get too excited and I forget. 
Ooh. Now we need an eyebrow. Okay, so now that I'm pretty much done with my eye situation, I just need to have mascara and lash and a little lip and we're gonna be good to go, I think. So I always do a black lip every day of my life. My signature face is definitely the white face of the pencil brow and I always have a black lip, even when I probably shouldn't. The internal struggle I had to not wear a black lip for my promo, it haunts me to this day, I can't even tell you. Imagine I drew my lip that small. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm done, and I'm like. <laughs> no, now we're drawing the lines. So I just draw one here, and one here, and then I just start in the middle of my lip. Connect that bitch. That's so good. That was like such a quick little line moment there. Mm. I'm just gonna wipe away this little powder that we did to reveal my snatched little nose. Like, uh, not that small. Now I'm going to set it. I love to use a dewy setting spray because I just powdered my face so hard it's actually maybe illegal. So I have to spray a dewy setting spray on it so it looks like skin again because I'm very dry. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my lashes. So I need to do my mascara and I just squiggle that shit in and the theme of the day is messy, which I'm not gonna stop now. Okay, so I had a bottom lash on the show, but I feel like I'm just living for it without it today. So just imagine me putting one on if you really need it. So I'm going to use this gorgeous lash. Just three 301s that I stack diagonally, if you can see. I'll use my forehead. Okay, so that's the lash we're doing today. Oh. <sighs> I'm so pretty. All right, you guys, this is the final look that I walked into the workroom with to crash the system. And I'm gonna go put on my wig and look off camera. And I'll see you in a second. All right, you guys, this is the final artistry look. I. Hope you loved it. This is my first tutorial, so it was a little bit of a mess, but I hope you learned something somewhere along the way because I'm living. But yeah, this is my Crash the System artistry look. Girl, I have not been eliminated yet. So I'm gonna be back next week with another makeup tutorial. Hopefully I'll be a little more together next week and it'll be so gorge. I'm so excited and I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, Suck me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye, Gorge.